Welcome to the Open Heavens Daily Devotional of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Oklahoma City. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father in the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. A. Adeboye. Today, the 13th of September, uh, the title of today's uh, Open Heavens Devotional is Beware of the Third Parent. Beware of the Third Parent. But before we go into God's Word this morning, can we just say a word of prayer? Father Lord, we thank you once again for the privilege and the opportunity you've given unto us to see a brand new day. As we start our day in your presence, let the entrance of your word bring light. As we'll be going into your word today, God, nourish us and feed us with that word that will sustain us throughout the day and beyond in the name of Jesus. Open our eyes to hear from you. Open the eyes of our understanding in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Once again, the title of today's Open Heavens Devotional is the topic is uh, Beware of the Third Parent. And our memory verse is taken from the uh, book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. He reads, and I quote, Be not deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners. And the Bible passage is taken from the uh, book of 2 Samuel chapter 13 from verses 1 to 15 and verses 25 to 29. Here it was talking about the a story a bit, uh, of an occurrence between uh, Hamar and Tamon. These were uh, David's uh, son, children. Uh, Hamon actually had uh, a cousin, a friend, Jonadab, that entitled or that deceived or no, no, let me, uh, Am, Amon had a, uh, 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 a friend called uh, Jonadab. Jonadab was the one that actually influenced uh, uh, Amnon uh, to actually live with uh, his sister and the we in verse 25 to 29 you could see the repercussion Absalom eventually avenged or uh, killed Amnon. Today we are talking about beware of third parents. That's talking about the influence of peers. Just like in a Bible passage, uh, Jonadab actually influenced Amnon to do what was unpleasing uh, be, uh, in the sight of God. Beware of third parents. Most times uh, people actually have had their destiny cut short because of the influence of peer pressure. People have had uh, have not been able to achieve their God-given potential or the destiny that God has for them because of the influence of peers. So today, our admonition and the word that God is uh, speaking to us is to beware of this so-called third period, the influence of peers. And in our devotional today, our Father in the Lord has wrote that the influence of peer groups has always been great in molding a person's character, either for good or for bad. Indeed, friends and peer groups, peer groups are the third parent to every individual. Peer pressure has the power of enticing a person into things that will never have uh, that will never have been considered. So today, is there someone watching today's devotional? that uh, you are on the wrong path because of the influence of peers. And irrespective of how close those people might be to you, God is speaking to you. That God wants you to listen to the voice, uh, the, the inner voice, the voice of the Holy Spirit speaking to you to avoid those wrong paths that they might be uh, leading you uh, to. In the book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 10, uh, the scripture talks about, uh, My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If sinners entice thee, consent thou not. So entice is to persuade a person to carry out an act, usually by offering something pleasant and attractive as dividend. An example of this is the serpent dangling the forbidden fruit, before Eve in the book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 6. Enticement usually works hand in hand with deception. Jonadab dis or, or spoke and convinced Amnon to actually do what was right. He encouraged him to do what was wrong. And initially it seems pleasing in the sight of Amnon, but the end of it brought destruction. Today, God is speaking to you because he wants you to be on the path of righteousness. He doesn't want you to be destroyed. And that's why he is speaking to you to allow us to avoid the influence 
of uh, the third period of, uh, of peer pressure. The power of temptation lies in its ability to entice its victim. You see here, uh, in today's uh, devotional, looking at the book of John chapter 16 verse, th uh, 16, verse 13, uh, our Lord Jesus Christ said, How be it? When he, how be it when he, the spirit of truth, he come, he will guide you into all fruits. Today, I want you to know that the Holy Spirit is uh, the spirit of truth and he wants to guide us into all fruits. And the Holy Spirit is speaking to someone today. For he shall speak of himself, but whosoever shall hear that which he speaks, he will show him the things to come. And that is why we must listen to the inner spirit. We must listen to the Holy Spirit as the Holy Spirit has speaks to us this morning to avoid influence or the peer pressure. In other words, the Holy Spirit is meant to guide us into God's word, which is the truth. Associating with evil people has the potential to corrupt any person of good character. That is why the Holy Spirit is sending us the warning in today's memory verse. In today's memory, we talk about do not be deceived, evil communication corrupt good manner you might be thinking that well um uh, uh, i grew up i had a i have a godly heritage uh i grew up in the midst of godly people but now that i'm now going into the outside world it doesn't matter i can also in one way or the other still sustain that peer. i can actually weigh up those peer pressures but i want you to know that god has actually brought this word for a reason because he doesn't want us to go on that slippery path if today the people you surround yourself with are actually influencing on the wrong path, God is speaking to us today to avoid those uh, peer pressure. That is why the Holy Spirit is sending us the warning today's memory. Those who are wise will give it to what the Holy Spirit said because He knows more than we know and sees better than we see. To avoid the snare of the wicked pair and to finish your race in heaven, let the Holy Spirit have the greatest influence on you. Do not let friends like Jonadab in today's Bible reading whose advice caused Amnon his life. And Jonadab and Amnon were, um, were even cousins, irrespective of the family links. Do not allow any influence uh, bring destruction on you. And today, I want us to realize that God is speaking to us that irrespective of how close that uh, relationship might be, if the relationship is, is, uh, is leading us on a wrong path, we must avoid it. So the action point for today's uh, devotional is saying uh, that we should examine the company that we keep. Examine if the company you keep influences you for good and add value to you. Discreetly withdraw from those who influence you negatively. So today, we should examine the relationship we keep. We should examine the companies we keep. We should examine the people we associate with. And we should examine the people we fellowship with. If they are leading us towards a wrong path, today's devotional is, and in today's devotional, God is speaking to us to avoid and to withdraw from uh, such association. And as we do this, I believe that what God has for you, the plan and purpose for, the plan and purpose of God for you will not be truncated in the name of Jesus. So today, uh, I want us to examine and let us examine ourselves and let us pray. Father Lord, we. Thank you once again for the word which you brought uh, to us. As you've spoken to us, we examine ourselves and examine the relationships we keep. God will pray, open our eyes to see beyond the physical. Open our eyes, open and remove the veil of our eyes to see beyond the natural. And those that are, are leading us on a slippery path, those that are leading us on a downward path, God will pray, give us the wisdom to be able to handle such relationship and to be able to refrain from the company of such people in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I hope we are blessed by today's devotional. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.